Hello, hello, hello. We're going to be classifying triangles today. We talked about the different kinds of shapes like quadrilaterals and parallelograms and rectangles and squares. And we also talked about triangles and kites and rhombus. We're going to be just focusing on triangles. Triangles have two names, their first name and their last name. So one of their names focuses on their side lengths and one of their names focuses on their angle sizes, which is what we kind of talked about in the last lesson. We talked about angle sizes, acute, obtuse, and right angle triangles. So now we're going to add in the side lengths. At the very top, we're going to say a triangle is a polygon. A polygon is a closed shape with three sides and three angles. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, and it, this is, we're gonna just start with our angle classifications, going by the angles. We're just gonna review what we did in the other lesson. These are angles, I'm marking the angles. They are three acute angles. Now remember, angles that are acute are so little, they're acute. They are less than 90 degrees. So in an acute triangle, all of the angles are less than 90 degrees. We also have a right triangle. The right triangle has one right angle, which is exactly 90 degrees. And we can tell that by the box that I just created. We also have two acute angles which I'm marking with like this. So we have acute and we have right. Then we have obtuse. Obtuse is very large. It has a large angle, an obtuse angle, and then it has two acute angles. So one obtuse, very large angle, more than 90 degrees, and two acute angles. Now, I went fairly quickly over those because that was what was in our last lesson when we were talking about classifying po um, shapes, polygons. So I just went over that very quickly because it was a review. All right, I went over that pretty quickly because that was a review from the last lesson when we did classifying shapes. We did go over those three kinds of triangles. Now we're going to be going into a little bit more specifically when we're talking about classification by sides, classifying by sides. So the first one is a scalene. A scalene triangle has no sides or angles are congruent or that means equal. When we're talking about equal in length and length and equal in angle size, we want to say congruent. Congruent means equal. Equal is more like a number, so that's why we have to come up with a different name for it, a different word for it, but they are very similar in definition. So a scalene has Every single side is a different length. So I can have a scaling triangle that is acute. So I would have one of these names, either acute, right, or obtuse in part of my name. And then I would have one of these in part of my name. The next one is isosceles. I, isosceles, and we have two equal angles, congruent angles. So we have two congruent sides and those are marked by these two lines that shows that they are equal and or congruent as we just learned, two congruent sides and the angles opposite the sides
are equal. We're just going to focus on this part right here, but I wanted to give you that information as well. This is where they meet. The other two angles are actually going to be equal in size, congruent in size. But for time being, we're going to be focusing on it has two congruent sides. A scalene has no congruent sides, no congruent sides, two congruent sides, three congruent sides. So it is called an equilateral triangle, which makes sense because everything is equal. Lateral meaning lines, equal lines, that can help us figure out using different root words, figure out what that word means. So all the sides, the three congruent sides, and the angles are also the same. So I can have a right scalene, I can have an acute isosceles. So we can have a mixture of them. One from this column, one from that column. And I'll show you some examples. Now at this point, if you need to pause the video, you're more than welcome to, to catch up. But I'm going to keep going. Since I don't want to have any time during the video where I'm not talking. So here is some review of our vocabulary. We talked about a line segment. A line segment is a line that has an end point and a beginning point. So a line segment are the sides of our shapes. And then an angle is where the two line segments meet. Now the, the new definition that we're going to learn is where the two sides meet. They make a angle, but the point at what, where they meet is called a vertex. So let me repeat that. There are two line segments. They come to one point where they meet and that is called the vertex. When we go further up the line segments, this measure right here is called an angle. So we can classify triangles by the measurement of their angles or the length of their sides. Now I'm going to get my colors that match. They can either be, I'm going to go up here, acute, right, obtuse. So I'm going to get one from column A and I'm going to get one from column B, column A, column B. We have scalene. We have isosceles. And we have equal lateral. Ah, I'm going to run out of space. A, L. So those are the notes for this lesson, 16.1. And now we're going to do some examples. I'm going to try to All right, so we're going to do some examples. I'm going to take and draw a couple triangles. So we're going to title this next page next to our notes, examples. Okay, so I'm going to draw a triangle that's like this. You got to draw it just like I do.
this means these two sides are the same. So I know that looking at my notes, this means that it is a right triangle because of the right angle. Now I'm going to look at the sides. So the first thing I do is look at the angles. Then I'm going to look at the sides. So the next thing I'm going to do is look at the sides. I have two equal sides, or we call them congruent, two congruent sides. That means that it is an isosceles triangle. So it's a right isosceles triangle. Because I'm looking at those. Okay. Let's do another. Sometimes you'll see symbols like this. Sometimes we'll see numbers. Two, two, three, and five. We'll make that one 30 degrees, that one 50 degrees, and we'll make that one 100 degrees. So, I don't, I have one that is over 90 degrees and two that are under 90 degrees. So that means I have one obtuse and I have two acute. Now, if I look at my chart, that means it is an obtuse triangle. I'm going to look at the sides next. There are no congruent sides, which means it is a scalene. It is an obtuse scalene triangle. Let's do one or two more. I have Remove up a little bit so we can see it. This one is four, four, and four. Sixty, sixty, sixty. That means it is an acute because 60, 60, and 60, they are all under 90 degrees, and that falls under the category of acute triangle. Then I look at the sides. All sides are equal or congruent, so that makes it an equilateral triangle. And we have space for one more. Let's do Okay. Sometimes you won't have all of the sometimes you won't have all of the information filled in. But you don't always need all the information. I see that I have one obtuse angle. That is enough for me to say it is an obtuse triangle because I know you can only have one obtuse angle in a triangle. These must be acute. And then I know that these are equal or congruent. So I know that that's an isosceles triangle This is longer than these. It appears to be longer. If it's not marked, then we'll just look at these two. 
it is an obtuse isosceles triangle. All right, now that we have that done, you are going to go on to the Envision textbook and you're going to complete 16.1 visual learning, 16.1 practice buddy, and 16.1 quick check. And if you have any questions, please let me know or come into my open conferences.